a lot of reliance on Rome and setting up plays with this team, which generally that's not what you think of when you think of Furo. Yeah, definitely so. Uh, Ryze is a super strong duelist. Like, if he gets it, just by super aggressive with potion advantage, with mana advantage, and look for these trades and stop the victor from getting a good back. And a lot of poke coming out from ANX here. And oh, this is very aggressive. Yeah, it certainly is. They didn't look at this. First blood. Actually, have Papina. And now Miracle going to get over. Gampina can he do it once more? He can pray this time with a double. Flying across multiple lanes right now for ANX. This is so dangerous as well from Stales trying to face check Gorilla. Gonna get aggressed on once more. Prey goes in. He needs a uh, dive. Landed, but here that go. Kuro in with the ghost. Does get it. Gets the snare just to ensure the kill. And stay us too late there. Although this might be it here. Pina gets one cocoon. Gonna land it back in there as Gorilla's trying to do what he can. Kuro will get a kill back there and take out the rise. Rocks with a tiny misstep there. Yeah, I think he's wave clear with the laser. But getting a kill is important. Peanut, he's looking for more ganks. Sadly for him, that ward had a few seconds left to live and actually did spot him. And right now, the crit. Oh, oh my god. god. Flash and everything. Tower goes down exactly what Rox wanted and what we talked about. When you have these winning lanes, you can just so easily pressure the tower. That's the first goal for you. Kira, take a lot of damage. Oh, that's not good news. Clem splashes out of the way. Might be safe, but the snipe step right again. On point with the skill shot as he claims another victim. Yeah, and now that's going to be Dragon. It's going to be the Cloud Drake handed over to the Rocks. Yeah, so lots of aggressive build paths and just aggression coming out from Tigers. And oh, Kira. Really just in there. Prey again doing decent damage. She's still from Kira. Almost blows one up, but Prey now on a rampage as Liquid's going to get chased down. Rappel is very nice. And that should line up another one. They do take the turn. Nice, nice Great double binding. And there's what one. But Prey will live through the day, and Rock's gonna keep pushing down mid. Gets one here, but Albus, they have zero. Moving over there. But Gorilla is here. So they're trying to gank bot lane, but top lane as well. We have Albus trying to gank on Ooh, Smep. Very nice from Peanut. Now the Cocoon. He's gonna protobelt in for the kill with Smep. Maybe get caught in here. Can he outplay 1v3? Not this time around. Liquid with, of course, the kill. And we simply had two top laners pushing for the turrets without any backup. They both go down, so they trade one for one, but now Kira and Midnight. Oh, good ult there from Kira. Prey trying to make this because of those Ionian boots. Well, so it's not exactly a one-to-one -one wow. fight, but Victor does have it. Well, yeah. Peanut goes in again. Also dead. Thank <laughs> <boss. laughs> Trying something. At least it was Instalock again like last game. Ooh, I'm nice try. Doesn't get it this time, but Pina again playing up an aggressive. Stales just can't really do anything about it. Gonna get himself cocoon. Pina wants to close the gap and get himself another kill. Moves his way down, takes one down. Mid turret goes, and it's just all gone up in flames for Albus. Nox trying to do something with the crit, but they have to go now. And not gonna get it, Rox to kill the Drake and actually Prey gonna go in there. Pina, good flash there, but everyone else is coming in, I think. Kuro does make it forward. Good snap there, but they found Kira. Damage is great there as Smith rocks down the equalizer, flashes forward, and make sure the kill goes down. Stay are still gonna leave, but a good hourglass there from Smith. He's gonna save him. Gorilla takes out Stay has good ult there from Smith. Does take out Gorilla, but Prey and Peanut still fighting on the other side, and that's three kills to one, I believe, in favor of Rox Tigers. Yeah, and it's a single chance to get back. The last thing maybe we can fault them for is the Baron execution. Uh -huh. But knowing the Rocks Tigers, they're probably going to be just fine there. Lecrit is caught out. He's yeah, trying he's to escape. Caught, forced to flash. Ulti is enough for Gorilla. Prey moves in. That's an easy kill for Smeb. And Amex is giving them away. Now, we haven't seen that big play to try and get themselves in the game. And they're just running out of time. Kira again getting styled on by Pina as he protobelts in. Aggressive dive, but the damage is there. Kira barely lives and almost gets some kills. Oh. <laughs> Snipes him, there was two ultis coming. Ultimate, are they anyone there? The three members out of the Rocks Tigers in. Sales gets blown to pieces. Prey now unstoppable. Now Rocks Tigers probably looking poised to take this Baron as there's no smite available for A and X. And honestly, Victor does not have the type of damage where he can threaten to try to steal it. So unless Peanut really messes up here, this is going to be a free Baron for the Tigers. Jinx it, they do Jinx it. Let's see. Cast a curse. Easy. Oh. Pina very crisp and clean there. Does get the Baron. Juggler dead means it should have been straight for the crit. Every ulti. You said it. It's Feast or Famine Deficio. Yeah. You either make the big play and keep your team in the game or win them the game or this happens. And who's going in this time? It's no one. I love this game. Who's in the ulti? No one this time. But Smurf flashes in. Takes up Miracle. Liquid maybe goes down as well. And Roxy is so far ahead though. Clean sweep perhaps. Through the back two games here. ANX are living for a little while longer. But Roxy going to try and end it on now. Trying to get some kills at the fountain. The Nexus turrets are still alive. Minions are here now, and they're buffed by the Baron. Three guys to defend on the side of Albus. And 
and they're all full HP, but I don't think that the tower is actually going to be able to live. It looks like there's too many minions pouring in here. Uh, Kira, 19 seconds away. Americal, 5 seconds away, but there's only one tower remaining. I mean, Gorilla's tanking there with his face, but relatively tanky on the Karma. Smoke goes in, looks for the ult, he finds a couple with the Nexus now open. Liquid almost going to go down, and Rocks Tigers better late than never show up to end their tournament and finish number one in Group A. Yeah, definitely feels like in the end, Rocks Tigers said, it's serious now. We actually almost lost our first seed, and we almost lost everything. Yeah, they almost didn't make it out of group. Exactly. Would be insane. Wouldn't even have advanced if they hadn't beaten CLG. So really seems like Rock Tigers put on a tryhard hat here in the end, played some very serious games, not really risking anything. Good pick and ban 